Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, Rule number 15. Hello, dear Rasnik Walker. A particle of charge plus Q is placed at one corner of a Gaussian cube. Uh, so we have a Gaussian cube with charge at one of its corners. Let's suppose uh, that charge particle is here at this corner, charge Q. Then uh, uh, what multiple of Q by epsilon 0 gives the flux through part A each face, each Q face forming that corner and part B each of the other Q faces. So we had to find out uh, flux through adjacent faces to this corner and flux through other uh, uh, three faces of this cube. So charge particle is lying at this corner. We can easily, we have been finding in previous sessions flux through closed uh, surfaces, closed Gaussian surfaces using Gauss law, which is simply flux through a closed surface is equal to Q enclosed divided by epsilon zero. But the problem is we cannot use this uh, equation, use this law directly over here. The reason is this charged particle is not lying inside the surface. This is lying on the surface. So there are parts of it lying inside the surface and parts of the charge lying outside the surface. So we cannot use this, uh, 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 this Gauss law directly. So there are two ways of doing it. One way is that we can uh, construct a closed surface around the charge and then find a flux through that bigger closed surface and then find out what part of that close, uh, what part of that flux is through this cube. Okay. Then there is another way, which is a short one, uh, in which what we can find is what is the charge enclosed in this cube. That is to say, what part of this charge is lying within the cube and what part of it is lying outside it. Once you know what part of the charge is lying inside the cube, you can use this equation and find out the flux through the cube, of course. Then the next step will be through the individual faces. Now, in order to find out uh, what part of the charge is lying inside this cube, what we'll consider is we'll uh, imagine this charge as a small ball <coughs> at this corner, centrally placed at the corner, okay, uh, with center of the ball placed at this corner. Then see that the top face, the front face and this left face, the three adjacent faces to this corner. Okay, three adjacent faces to this corner. Divide this ball each into two faces. See, the top face is dividing the ball this way. So it divides it into upper part and the lower part. The front face is dividing it this way. The front part and the back part. The left face is dividing it this way. The right part and the left part. Each face is dividing it into two parts. Okay, so when we uh, uh, see them all together, it, uh, the three faces together divides this uh, ball into eight equal parts. And one of them, one of them here will be lying inside this cube. So one eighth of the ball is lying inside the cube. Okay, one eighth, seven eighth is lying outside the cube. One eighth of the part of the ball is lying inside the cube. That is to say one eighth of the charge is lying inside the cube. So charge enclosed by the cube, charge enclosed by the cube is equal to Q divided by eight. Q divided by eight. So now we can find out flux through the cube. Flux through the cube, not through the face. So flux through the cube is equal to Q enclosed, we have Q divided by 8 and then we have epsilon 0. So this is flux through the cube. Okay, this is flux through the cube. Now we have to find out flux through uh, the adjacent faces of the cube, adjacent to this corner where charge is lying and uh, flux through other three faces of the cube. Now if you imagine field lines, if we can consider the cube here uh, like this, and a charged particle lying here at this corner of the cube. I hope this is visible. Let me use another color. Maybe this one. So charged particle is lying here. So we are having this way, this look at the cube. There will be some of the field lines originating from the charge going this way. So they are starting from outside the cube, so they won't cross any of the surfaces of the cube, so they won't contribute any flux through the cube. Then there will be some field lines going this way, parallel to this face, parallel to this face. 
If they are moving parallel to this phase, that means they are not crossing this phase. So they are not contributing anything to flux through this phase. Some of the field lines will be parallel to this phase, to this adjacent phase. So if they are parallel to it, they won't be crossing it. If they are not crossing it, they are not contributing anything to the flux through this phase. Then there are some of the field lines parallel to this phase. Again, they are not contributing to anything, uh, to, uh, anything to the flux through this phase. So some of the field lines are coming outward from right from the beginning. So they are not contributing anything to the flux. Some of the feeder lines are parallel to these three adjacent faces. So they are not contributing anything to the flux. Some of the feeder lines will start within the cube. Okay, they'll start within from within the cube from here, from here, from here. Again, they won't be crossing these faces because the field lines are already within the cube. So they are not crossing these adjacent faces. So no feeder line is crossing through the adjacent faces. That means flux through adjacent faces is zero. Okay, flux through adjacent faces is zero. So flux through adjacent faces is zero. So how many adjacent faces are there? There are three adjacent faces to this corner, and then there are three other faces. Okay, then there are three other faces: the bottom one, the right one, the back one. Three edges. So this total flux is shared by the other three faces. Okay, by other three faces. Now, if you can see, this charged particle at this uh, corner is symmetric to these three faces: this face, this face, and the other face. So that would mean, by symmetry, we can say that this flux, this total flux, is equally shared among those three faces. Okay, among those three faces, equally shared. That means flux through other three faces, other, each of other three faces, each of other three faces is equal to flux through cube divided by three. Flux through cube is shared equally by these three phases. Why equally? By the symmetry we can say that. So flux through cube was Q divided by eight epsilon zero, eight into three is 24 epsilon zero. So flux through each of the adjacent faces is zero and each of the other faces is Q divided by 24 epsilon zero. Is that fine? This is what we are asked to find out. We Exactly question tells us to find out what multiple of epsilon Q divided by epsilon zero. What is the flux? What multiple of Q by epsilon zero is the flux? Let me give the exact words. What multiple of Q by epsilon zero gives the flux through zero? 0 into q by epsilon 0 is 0. So in the first part, 0. In the second part, uh, part 1 divided by 24. Okay, 1 divided by 24. Fine, that'll do for this session.